Obertiljach in Austria, a village for which dealing with blackouts is as much a part of community life as going to church. Here, in East Tyrol, snow and storms regularly lead to the power grid breaking down, leaving no electricity for days. In other words, exactly what many people in Germany are worried about right now. Obertiljach's fire brigade commander knows this feeling only too well. We were badly hit by this huge power failure in the middle of the Christmas season in 2013-14. I think it was four days at that time, and we were completely unprepared for going without electricity for such a long time. But by now, Obertiljach is well prepared for power outages and has learned from the past. Now, among other things, the municipality has a crisis team. In the event of a blackout, the tasks are very clearly distributed. One of the people involved in this is Chief Official Magdalena Winkler. In previous situations, the municipal office has always been on 24-hour standby, so that in an emergency, when things get scary or when there are problems, the population has somewhere to go. Another important point is, of course, the maintenance of the infrastructure, so that things such as the food supply, the water network, sewer network and rubbish collection continue to operate. The town hall and the fire brigade are the central points of contact in emergency situations. The municipality is currently building a co-working space here where citizens can work even during power cuts. The town hall has an emergency generator that runs on diesel, so residents can stay warm here, get something to eat and charge their mobile phone. A very big problem in today's society is mobile phones and the internet. If people can no longer get their information, can no longer inform themselves, can't communicate via mobile phone and can't surf around in the internet, they suddenly become very different, different and unpredictable. Here, even mobile phones can still work because the emergency generator also powers the mobile phone mast. Very important. And that's exactly why the EU has a similar plan. States are supposed to help each other out with mobile power generators in the event of a power blackout. But how likely are power cuts? We asked energy expert Matthias Mier from the IFO Institute in Munich. If you look at the stability of the electricity supply in Germany and also in Europe, then you first have to say that it's super stable. We've not had any problems for years. From time to time there are local power cuts, for example when a balloon flies into a power line or a generator accidentally burns out. With technical installations, these things can happen. However, even if an imbalance does occur in the power grid, it won't leave us all without electricity immediately. First, the grid operators disconnect certain areas or companies with a high electricity consumption so that everyone else can continue to get electricity. This controlled disconnection is called a brownout and can last for hours or days. However, according to expert Mir, the risk of a controlled power cut has not increased as a result of the current situation. That's the kind of fear that people have, that we're going to have to say, in order to keep parts of the system stable, we have to switch off other parts of the system. Equally unfounded is the fear of a blackout, meaning a widespread, uncontrolled power cut. But why is everyone talking about it? The general problem is that our electricity grid must always have a frequency of 50 Hz. That's because at any given time, just as much has to be fed into the grid as is being consumed, and there must only be minimal fluctuations, otherwise the grid will collapse. It's like a shower. The power generated is what comes out of the shower head, and it all flows out and is consumed immediately. That's our electricity system. Everything the nuclear power plants, the gas power plants, the coal power plants generate this second is consumed the next second. There are minimal fluctuations. That's exactly why gas is so important for the electricity market. Because with it, we generate electricity and can balance out fluctuations quickly. Quicker than with any other energy source. If there's no gas, we can't balance the frequency as quickly. The consequence, the electricity grid could collapse. But the gas storage facilities in Germany are well filled for this winter.
But shouldn't we still be prepared? That's never a bad idea. The city of Koblenz is currently preparing for power blackout scenarios. The city has bought emergency generators and is setting up central contact points for citizens in emergencies. That is exactly what the Austrian town of Obertilia has done. But many people there have also taken private precautions, like Deputy Mayor Andreas Mitterdorfer. He has a tiled stove in his house and can thus also heat with wood. In addition, he has a conventional electric cooker as well as a wood-burning one. But the mayor is not likely to run out of food anytime soon. A food supply, I think, is very important. And it's simple. There are things that you should always have at home. I think that in such a case, you should simply consider stocking up on basic foodstuffs, whether it's flour, sugar, salt, pasta, meals, because in an emergency, of course, food is very important, and it also affects the way you feel. Equally important for the mayor, his own emergency generator in the garage. This provides electricity to his house in the event of a power cut and runs on petrol. However, even that always has to be constantly maintained in case of emergency, doesn't it? But it works now. Being prepared for an emergency is always helpful, with sufficient supplies, a clever crisis concept and emergency generators. But, as most experts agree, a widespread blackout is not something we need to be afraid of.